let's talk about coin purses and let's open up some of the biggest coin purses in the game currently, which is the noble coin purses. So let's see what's inside these things. We got 406 coin purses. You're gonna right click, shift right click, and it's gonna go ahead and open. And so you can see you get some uh, skill notes, which unfortunately are not worth anything anymore, but you do get them out of here. So they cost six labor points. Let's see what you get. So you notice the interesting thing is that you get log, you get lump of ore, you get skin, which is the fabric, faint stone or rift. So as a free to play player, this is probably gonna be where you're spending most of your labor. I don't know if this is the best, most efficient way to do it. Since labor is very, very valuable as a free to play player, you get a maximum of 300 labor points per day by doing the daily quest. The daily quests are down in the moon, the bottom right, so over here. And some of those quests are going to require are going to require you to you uh, give them like logs or lump of ore, those kind of materials as well. So if you can't plant anything in the public farms because the public farms have been completely full now, you're going to be the only way you're going to get it as a free to play player is through coin purse hunting. And you see you also get a lot of this Incomplete Archeum Dust. But the thing is, this is Archeum Dust. So this is the smaller version. So you actually have to convert 500 dust into 50 Archeum Shards. And the shards are which used to upgrade into pure Archeum. So you can see already we've already gotten seven skill boxes. They are the green skill boxes, so they are the first four skills. The blue skill boxes are the next three skills, and then the purple skill box is the last skill. The nice thing too is that if you hover over an item in Arcworld, it actually will tell you where you can get this. So you see this skill book chest? It says obtain. It says you can get it in the farmer's coin purse, the priest coin purse, the merchant coin purse, and the noble's coin purse. So if you're ever wondering where to find an item, you simply hover over it and you'll be able to generally find out where it's obtained. See this faint stone of rift? It doesn't say anything. Skewin? Skewin tells you here obtained through production after flower, crop, and livestock is completely grown. Lump of ore, same thing obtained through production after the digger is complete. And log is very self explanatory, so it doesn't have an obtained on there. So these infusions here, various types of pockets. You also do gain some labor points by using labor. So you can see as every coin purse we're opening, we're gaining 188 labor points. So we're slowly going up in levels, 0.05%. Uh, there are some crafts in Arc World that actually do not generate you experience points for spending labor too. So they fixed, um, and I guess you would call it an exploit, where you could just create labor pots and then you could just keep cycling over and over and over again to create labor pots and that would level your character up really quickly because you spend 1545, 1545 labor points and then you get a potion that is 1500. And so you're just you're losing 45 labor points each time and then you just keep doing it over and over and over again. So that's how people leveled really quickly in the alpha because that's a standard system is anytime you spend labor you get experience points well they took that out you do not get experience points in that craft anymore so certain crafts do not give experience points so there are a lot of different changes and i guess you would say corrections or fixes they tried to make the game as clean as possible so like there's 
tr they tried to not have any like exploits or, or issues where you could just you know cheese your way ahead. That's their attempt. What it looks like. So it looks like we've opened up a little bit over a hundred coin purses, and we've gotten eleven boxes so far. Sixty-one infusion basic ones. Some logs, some skewing, faint stone of rift. And it looks like we got an achievement to get some uh, free gold. Because these gold pouches are just like achievement gold pouches. So, so far nothing really, really exciting. But there is a special item in these coin purses that I do know of because you can look at it on the auction house and you can see where it comes from and it says out of these coin purses. So we'll see if we actually get one of those and if not, then I'll show you at the end of the video what it is. But yeah, let me know what you think about Ark World. Are you intrigued? Are you interested? Uh, I'm very curious about how the game goes. The population has been steadily growing. Um, so just by checking the jury queue each day, you can see more and more people are online and over into the jury queue. So this is the easiest way to test the population. So yesterday it was around 1700 or so, and now we're already at about 2600 because I've been logged in for a few minutes at least. So this is a very uh, telling situation. They say the server population is 5,000 concurrent players. Uh, if over 2,500 have already qualified for the jury quest, that means we're very, very close to hitting that concurrent 5,000 players. So we'll see when and if the server goes back into queues. We have not had any queues since the very beginning of the server launch. Uh, when everyone was stuck at the starting progression, the four starting locations. Because the starting locations are split up into four different areas because there's four different races. So each, each race starts in a different location. And that's by design. Uh, originally, they had different stories and it was different factions. Uh, but in this version, in Ark World, everyone is one giant family, essentially. And you're all you know on the same team or against each other. So they split them up because you cannot have, you know, 5,000 people, 2,000 people all in one zone at one time. So that causes massive server issues. So that's why if you've played any MMO RPGs before, you know that the launches, they generally have queues in the beginning because of that reasoning. Like they need people to filter out of the starting zone. They can have a maximum of say like 500 people in one zone. And so when everyone's trying to log in day one, everyone's starting in the same starting position. And so that zone gets instantly filled. And it's not that the server is at capacity. It's just that starting zone cannot take any more players without causing crashes to the server. So that's why you have these massive server queues in the beginning of all the launches is because all the servers are like that. So having different starting locations definitely alleviates the, the pain of server queues in the very beginning but there still is issues because the beginning of any game is always like super hyped everyone's like let's go let's go hey we're up to 13 percent experience points now not bad I think we were at like 0% when we started this, because I know I just leveled up to level 50. Fifteen skill boxes. I mean, it would be really nice if the skill boxes were actually worth something. Um, but for that, we have the bots and all the free-to-play players to thank for that. Speed hacks. So I've touched upon this before in a different video and other topics, but the bots and the speed hacks were terrible for free-to-play players. 
Uh, it was also really, really good for free-to-play players in a way as well. So if you like the game and you try it out, a free-to-play, free think of it as a free trial almost, right? So you try the game out, you like the game, you get to high level. Yes, you can still earn. You can still earn and make money in the game. But your earning potential is a lot lower now since all the bots have farmed everything and just driven the prices down to nothing. So there was just too much of that, right? But you can get some high-end materials in the level 50 raids, make, you know, make money, but it is very, very rare. But if you do decide, to like, hey, oh yeah, I, I like this game. I, I want to invest in this game. I want to play uh, Ark World, you know, long term. You know, six months, a year, two years. You want to plan like that, right? So you're like, okay. Well, now what the bots have done is they have made all of the starting gear, all the weapons, all the armor, everything dirt cheap. Because that's something that you can farm endlessly by creating new characters and leveling them up. So the bots have done that, and they have made it so like you can actually get like a top 100 gear score character for about 20 bucks. Like the tier four heroic weapons, which is like the best weapon in the game right now. Like you cannot get any better. Uh, no one has better. It's not possible right now. There might be a boss in the Krakus region that drops the material that you need. But as of now, no one has found it. No one has upgraded a weapon to tier five yet. So as of now, the best weapon in the game can be farmed endlessly by the bots. And they're doing it, obviously. They're buying it, they're selling, or they're, they're botting, they're selling it. And they've driven the price down for the best weapon in the game to like 150 BSLT, 250 maybe for some, you know, rare obscure obscure ones and that's crazy like so that is crazy the very best weapon in the game it only costs that much the top 100 if we look at the gear scores let's see if we can pull this up in the same time yep so if we look at the gear scores we can see the top player is at 14.5 so these who have spent a ton of money battling out for the first spot right Everyone else, as a free to play player, 100%, you get like 11 2. So if you spend everything, you get like 11 2. As, as a player who has spent, you know, 60 bucks, you're going to be right around here. You're going to be at 12 4 4 0, oh, like where I am, so top 26. And that's by do buying two of those heroic weapons and then everything else like a max rarity so like 60 bucks and you can even be up here so this is a person who spent way less this person has spent let's see those are probably about 10 10 20 essentially spent maybe 10 bucks to be in the top 100. So 60 bucks to be in like the top 50, 10 bucks to be in the top 100. And that's where we're at right now, thanks to the bots driving the price down of all the things. It makes it hard though for players to earn any any blue salt tokens. So like these, the skill notes, should have been worth about 10, maybe 15 BSLT. But the bots have driven these down and these things are now gonna be worth one BSLT. So the, the bots have driven down the price of things so much that they just announced that in this upcoming maintenance in a few hours, so after you see this video, it's gonna have already happened, that the new sell price floor is one BSLT. So in the auction house, you used to only be able to list things as low as five BSLT. Because they, they anticipated like, okay, five BSLT, that'd be a good selling price. It won't be too expensive, it won't be too cheap. Well. Now everything is so dirt cheap and people want to sell things cheaper. Like people want to sell these skill books for one or for 0.05, but they can't because the system requires you to put it up for five BSLT. So the only way to get around that is by listing like 24 at a time and listing them for five. 
So you have to have a mass quantity of these things to actually list and make the price lower where someone actually might even buy them. So since the skill books aren't selling at 5 BSLT and other things aren't selling at 5 BSLT, they're actually going to lower it and make it 1 BSLT. So the, the items are all going to get a lot cheaper. BS, BSLT will essentially become more valuable because it's got more purchasing power. During this maintenance as well, they are going to take away the tier 4 weapons. So they're not allowing you to sell tier 4 weapons anymore, the heroics. Because they know that there's an issue with this. They know that the tier 4 weapons should not be this cheap. And that the bots are the ones that are farming these tier 4 weapons. Because a tier 4 weapon is going to end up costing about 25,000 Archeum. And that's way more than you get on one account. That's supposed to require a house. And supposed to require like a week's worth of Archeum production from your house. But the bots are trading items back and forth and using multiple accounts to actually craft and build up these weapons. And XL Games is banning them, but they can't ban them quick enough. All right, so we have finished this. And our total, we ended up having uh, a bunch of gold. I forgot to zero it out, so I apologize for that. So we got up to 92 gold, but gold is not that valuable anymore. Gold is only used to list things on the auction house. That's the only purpose of gold right now. They might change it. There's a lot of people talking about changing gold and using that as a repair cost because repair right now takes Archeum. We'll see what they do in the future. They are aware of this. They did give out everyone 500 free Archeum. So if you haven't checked it out, go onto the website, go under coupon, and you'll have 500 free Archeum in your account. If you started between September 1st, the launch of the game, and September 4th, I believe it was. So, next up we got 7,800 of this Archeum dust. To me, this Archeum dust is just complete garbage. This is just NPC food. You sell it for two gold. That's, that's what I would do with this. That's what I'm gonna do with these things. Uh, next up we have the 28 of these grand skill notes. So, that's a lot of these guys. So we got 28 of these skills. So you can see it's definitely easy to uh, get skill books even if as a free-to-play player, you know, you're not going to get necessarily the skill you want because these are random. There's 40 different skills, so RNG. But yeah, you're going to get a lot of skill books if you open up coin purses. Uh, we ended up getting 100, 208 un unidentified basic infusions. So these are only worth five. And these are actually really nice because these can be converted up in a craft. But you're also going to use these for like your daily quest when it says infuse your gear, you know, 20 times, and you don't have the Archeum to spend or you don't want to spend the Archeum, like you can use these, these are the cheapest infusions and you can feed it and it's only gonna cost you 100 Archeum to complete that quest. Uh, then we end up getting 111 logs. We ended up getting only 18 of, oh no, actually we got, my vision is bad. We got 19 logs, <laughs> terrible. Uh, and then we end up getting 18 of the ore, and we got 20 of the skewin, and then we got 50 of the faint stone of rift. So faint stone of rift is actually somewhat valuable, and it might be more valuable in the future. This is something I'm keeping an eye on, because this is required to level up to ancestral one, and I don't know what the leveling process is after that. They said every five levels of ancestral, you'll need some item to use. So I don't know if you need more of this or not, or if you need the next tier, but this thing is currently at 0.4 BSLT. And I think it's trending upwards in the price, which is pretty interesting. Yeah, so it's trending upwards to the same day average, 26, 17, 27, and 32. So this is something to keep an eye on right here, Faint Stone of Rift. And then we did not get the jackpot item that I was telling you about. So let's go ahead and show you here at the end of the video. Uh, it is a skill item. And it is arcane level. So it's these arcane skill note fragments. So you can see here, it says obtain farmer's coin purse, priest coin purse, merchant coin purse, nobles coin purse. So this is what you actually use to create the arcane skill chest. 
This is incredibly rare and you need a hundred of them. And you can see there's only a few on the auction house. They don't actually sell at that price though. So we don't know what the current price is and they're actually worthless because if you don't have a hundred, they do nothing. So you literally need to get a hundred of these guys and you have to put it together with another item, craft it up and you can make a skill box. So definitely not worth, you know, 19 BSLT each. These might be worth like 1.9 BSLT each, but unfortunately we didn't even get one. So they are extremely rare. We opened up 400 and some odd coin purses and that is it. Thanks for watching guys. As always hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, uh, tell your friends. Yeah, you can, you can earn as a free to play player. It is possible. Is it likely? Not really but it's possible. I've talked to a bunch of people, a handful of them have already made over $300 strictly as a free to play player. So it is possible guys. So keep grinding, keep working at it. And yeah, I'll see you in game.